So I, I want to shift a little bit. Uh, I want to talk about uh, Silicon Valley and Indian people for a little bit uh, and Indian people in general. Um, so what you know, you were saying back in the day when you started your career, Indians were not seen as leaders, managers, CEOs. They were seen as people, you know, put them in the technical work. Um, obviously, you and many others have changed that. And now, like you mentioned, you have big, big Indians and big companies leading. Um, but do you think that there are any habits and behaviors or traits uh, that Indian people have or demonstrate that enforces this perception that Indians are not leaders and managers? Um, well, is there anything? So, so, so the British had done a good job. The yeah, British had done a good job of positioning us as you know, people who took, you know, manage their affairs. You know, you know, a handful of Englishmen at the time they took over Bengal, there were less than 3,000 Englishmen in India. It was 11 months, one way travel from London to Calcutta. 3,000 of them in all of India, they were able to take over Bengal at the height of the British Empire. At the height of the British Empire in India, there were less than 100,000 Englishmen in India. And when I say Englishmen, about 70% of them were Anglo-Indians. When they took over Punjab in 1849, there were only 15,000 Englishmen in all of India. Right? So, so when you look back, you know, the British, you know, I mean, everybody, you know, how could Indians you know, lose here? Yeah, they, they cannot be that smart, smart people, right? You know, and the English had reinforced that notion you know, that hey, we went there to civilize them and help them. You know? so, so, so when I got here, you know, it, you know, when I got to the US in 1967, you know, things are very bad. You know, we have a family in India. Yeah, US is trying to feed Indians to keep them alive. If you, are, are, how old are you? I'm 79 born, so I'm 41, turning oh. 42 on Thursday. Uh, so so you, you have no idea. In 1966, India had a family. There was a shortage of food. The, uh, the English, uh, British, not British, the Americans, passed a, a public law 480, <coughs> PL 480 under which they gave India sort of free meat under his rupee payments that they never collected. And I'll tell you the story of that one. So they were, uh, Indian didn't have dollars to buy. Yeah. So the Indians were printed in rupees, you know, put it into battle town in India you know, for the Americans. And the, uh, and that that's what the you know, thing going, you know, uh, uh, and if you, uh, you go back and uh, refresh your memory, this PL 480 money finally was forgiven by the America to India you know, in, in late 70s. Yeah, you know, it it would have bankrupted India. It, it, almost all the Indian money was owned by the Americans because you know they had supplied this you know, massive amount of, of food to keep India afloat. So that was the, the background, right? You know, the helpless, hapless people, you know, can be that smart, right? So the American education came because of people like us from IIT. We came here, we went to university, we tapped our head low, we are doing extremely well in colleges and universities. By, by early 70s in universities, you know, Indians are sharp, sharp you know, that thing was established. By mid to late 70s, Indians are sharp engineers and programmers were getting established in the industry. You know. the notion, but that still said, oh, they have this well dimension, Gene, yeah, I mean, yeah, mathematical gene, yeah, which keeps them, yeah, yeah, but can they sell, can they, yeah, market, can they manage, yeah, there was this single dimensional image of Indians, yeah, coming into 80s, yeah, sharp, technical people, just like single dimensional image for the blacks as this uh, fast athletes, you yeah, very convenient for, for people, right? right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the experience, our brand is established not because something happened in India, but established by people here, people like me and a lot of other people. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if you were to look at, uh, you know, how, um, you know, we've emerged, we're, we're a very powerful community right now in America and in the Silicon Valley, of course. Um, is there anything that you would observe, objectively speaking, we as a community need to do better um, in terms of racism or other biases um, that we as a culture, as an Indian culture, carry 
um, and and uh, you know uh, are you know some some may argue that Indians are are racist or you know Indians you know the same racist, thing right? all that. Yeah, 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 Indians super racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That about it. Yeah, yeah, the Indians are more racist than Amer yeah, Americans about yeah, with respect to the black people, right? Yeah, yeah. So all that. Yeah, so yeah. that's a lot of work we have to do there in the community. Yeah. yeah. So I I want I want to be yeah yeah, yeah clear that. There is no such thing as a stereotypical Indian. Indians are very, very diverse people. They are very diverse people. They are, they are Punjabi, Tamilian, Malayali, Bengali, Gujarati, they all have different social mores, different set of values. Yeah, yeah. In the Indian, you know, yeah, it, it's, it's more now Indian community, they, are. they used to be a Punjabi community, they used to be a Bengali community, they used to be a, yeah. So, and also in the you know, the Indians who came here in the building, that sort of you know, forced in the crucible of uh, places at IIT, you know, where you are forced to become very you know, tight. Even though you know, I mean, when I was at IIT, you know, you know the next times from from Kerala, you know, I speak his Malayali and we can talk only in English and this right, you know, he's from you know Gujarat and he, he has totally different. So, so we were very well adjusted to diversity, but but we were very aware of our diversity. So when we got here, yeah, yeah, we were treated like black people. You know, yeah, yeah, you're down there and you're working your way up, so you can't worry about the others. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You 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 want to worry about yourself, right? Yeah, but I I think the the you know, things are changing. Things are changing. You know, I'm married to a white woman. Right, yeah, you know, I've been married you know, for 50 years, and you know, my my you know, brother-in-law, my wife's brother, is my best friend. You know, he's you know, five, six years younger than me, and you know, he looks up to me, you know, you know like you know, everybody else. You know, he, he was in his 20s. You know, when we, I married his sister, he, he has seen me how far I have come, and he, he has done well as a result himself because of you know, because you know, he has sort of you know, you know, stuck close to me. Yeah, you know, the. the I, I think the uh, Indians are participating in the politics more and more. You know, you know, we, we have Ro Khanna as a congressman from the Silicon Valley, right? You know, he's one of my mentees. So, so we have come along with we, our name and brand here is established by our behavior here. You know, and you know, India has benefited as a result. You know, we, we didn't bring that brand from India to here, right? You know, we came with a very poor brand. 